Thank you for downloading the Megacell Monitor software. This is the video tutorial which shall guide you through the first steps how to set up the Megacell Monitor and get you started. This video tutorial you can also stop in the settings menu if you're becoming a more experienced user or leave it on and at the moment that you have new features uh, never been used then a video tutorial will automatically start to help you guide through the window show you what the settings are and how to proceed forward okay so let's get started after the installation of the software the software needs to pull a license file from the server and the valid email address need to be entered in the uh, license um, dialog box to get the information. Now, this takes some time. It pulls the server, gets the license file and stores it. And afterwards, it starts the application. And as you can see, the application is completely empty. The first thing you need to do is go to the icon, which is uh, for settings and start adding a few chargers. Now, the first step is you can either choose to enter the IP address of the charger right into uh, the edit box and click add, or you could choose to start scanning for chargers if you have multiple chargers in your network. When you're, not un when you're unknown or to what the IP address of your charger is, then use the scan functionality and it will find your Megacell charger uh, quite easy. Now, if you're using a, a SkyRC or a Ziki eTech, then uh, you need to go through um, the setup uh, for that particular uh, charger, which is possible through the drop down menu. Uh, you select the Wi Fi communication and change it to serial communication, after which you have the ability to add your Ziki eTech uh, charger or your SkyRC uh, going forward. Now this video tutorial focuses only on the mega cell charger and as you can see it detected three in the network and you can click add. Now if you've already added the charger and you added a second one, it doesn't matter if it gets re-added, the system automatically filters out only new chargers um, that you have in your network. So there is no problem adding multiple uh, chargers with the same IP address. Next. We need to go through the settings of your chargers and make sure that you start with the default values um, after installation. So when you click default values and you select yes, it will automatically push all the defaults towards your chargers and you're good to go. Now, quickly run through the circuit breaker settings. Don't change anything, leave it at the default. It's for the more advanced actions. Now, if you want to do a capacity check, uh, select all the chargers and then go to the icon on the bottom uh, with the three squares and start a workflow. Now the workflow will run once it's completed. It will store the settings in the database and all the charger values as well, and like capacity, temperature, charge curve, etc. etc. Now the virtual charger shows you uh, which slots contain a cell, but it has limited. Um, visibility on all the parameters. So when you hit the um, switch from simple to advanced, you can select a data grid which contains a lot more information. It shows you the exact state of the uh, cell is in. It shows what uh, the temperatures, uh, the settings, and also you have all the features for uh, start charge or discharge your um, cells, uh, depending on what you want to do. When you're done, you can click stop. And this is also the end of the video tutorial to get you up and running.